Hello, I would like to dedicate this song to my grandmother. Not my great-grandmother, but my grandmother that was great. Olive Carson Rock Cook. Born to be a cook. A Kentucky kind of landed on the window seat and the clouds blew away. Hallelujah. Sun shone on all my and Henry when a baby was born that mid December day. A sister Grace and Aunt Sarah and Maggie were standing nearby. There, that little girl let out her first cry. Now she didn't want to rattle a pinky or a nook. That you took, doctor said you named her Olive Cousin Rock, but she was born to be a cook. Born to be a cook. Born to be a cook. Growing up, she climbed trees and she ran through the book, but she didn't really tear down the fences until she started to cook. Was that a wild sleigh ride she took? Indeed, indeed, a no horse open sleigh. Somewhere east of Eden, down around Aberdeen, there's a culinary kitchen like you've never seen. A promised land flowing with fried chicken gravy and sugar pie. Our own little slice of heaven in the gray by and by. Don't you know? The counters trembled and all the bags of flour shook when the Lord cried out, Olive Carson, you're as solid as a rock, but you were born to be a cook. Born to be a cook. Born to be a cook. There's mighty fine eats everywhere you look, you see a lover's come. Along comes a Colin Mayburn, young man searching for a middle name. Got fire burning in his eyes and a cow lick he couldn't tame. Said, I'm going to be a farmer, going to go to school. Earn myself a degree, teach those children the golden rule. But he needed a partner, so Olive's heart is stole like a clever crook. Kneel down on one knee and said, Carson, you were born to be Mrs. Cook. Yes, she was one Twitterpated young lady. Indeed, indeed, she was long gone on him like a sick kitten. Born to be a cook. Born to be a cook. Born to be a cook. There's Ray, Pat, and Sue filling up their cozy nook. Time to crank out the beans and cornbread. She was born to be a cook. Now there were three moles walking single file by grandmother's kitchen one fine, crisp country morning. The first mole says, Woo-wee, I smell eggs and bacon. The second mole chimes in, My, my. I smell biscuits and gravy. Then the third little mole, way, way in the back, right behind the other two moles, says, All I smell is mole asses. Born to be a cook. Born to be a cook. Just surpass your expectations. Her phone's ringing off the hook. Everybody's calling for advice or dinner reservations. She was born. To be a cook. Great grandkids and great great grandkids popping out like biscuits from a pillory can. Now that's rather graphic. Grandma loves them all and always lends a helping hand. She'll rock those crying babies and roll them with their pain, even though she really played chicken for the Mexican train. I remember growing up, the popular game was rook. But pretty please rock and roll back into the kitchen, girl. You were 
Bound to be a crook. Bound to be a crook. Bound to be a crook. She didn't have to read it because she wrote the book. It's the yearly bestseller. Bound to be a crook. And that's not all she wrote. Indeed, indeed. God was getting hungry for some real food. Here's one last truth we can't overlook. Called Olive home to feed the saints because she was born. She was born, she was born, born, born to be the heavenly cook. I hear she can sew too. Indeed, indeed, all those full bellies in heaven behind the pearly gates are in stitches too. <laughs>